This week on Sail Away, we made it to Kariaku. Welcome! And we meet our new project boat for the first time. Needs a little polish here and there, but she looks pretty good. But it's one thing to take on a boat restoration knowing you have a lot of work to do. First day on the new boat. What's this you say? Our generator's not working? <sighs> I don't know if you can make that out, but that's, uh, that's all water down there. But when you move aboard that project boat sight unseen, you have no idea what you might find. We did not know that they literally leak like a freaking sieve as soon as it starts raining. I mean, it's just pouring in. And all this crazy wind is part of the reason why not having a working windlass is really concerning. Ever wish you could escape normal life and experience more of the world? So meet me on that island. Well, we did just that. We sold everything we owned on dry land and sailed away. Hey. Promise me that we'll sail away. Now we are roaming the planet in search of new adventures and sharing it with you every week. Just promise me that we'll sail away. So hit subscribe and escape normal with us. And I'll be yours forevermore. Come on, it's just that little button down there. That's it. Well, y'all, we've had a pretty awesome first day here in Kariaku. We got here yesterday, but we didn't do anything. We just had a great day today. Went out for lunch with our good friends on Happy Pancakes. Olaf, Annie, Lisa, and Felix. And we got word from the owner of The Privilege that they were 20 miles away, and that was just a few hours ago. But we might be looking at our boat sailing in right now. It's way out there. It's a big catamaran of some sort. We might get to watch them sail right into the anchorage. That would be cool. It's confirmed, yeah. It's, that's, yeah. that's definitely our boat. It is. And it's coming into anchor right now. So exciting. Welcome! Thank you. What? Is that ours? <laughs> <laughs> a little polish here and there, but she looks pretty good. We're gonna go over to it right now. Let's go see. Come here, Z. Look at your new home. What do you think, bud? First day on the new boat. Um, we're not going to officially move on to it, but we're gonna start going through everything that has been left over and repurposing it or um, just converting this boat into a cruising boat. It was used for day charters. So we've got a lot of things that are on this boat that I don't think we're going to need. our first evening on our new boat. Yeah. So, new boat, you may ask? And we would answer, yes. Which boat? This is the Privilege 482. The old girl who needed a little bit of a facelift. Yeah. Needs. Needs. A facelift. And needs a little detail. Right, just needs a little detail. But yeah, this is uh, the boat we decided on for a bunch of reasons. We'll get into that a little bit more. We just want to show you our first toasting night. Well, right now, we're about to have pizza on our new boat. It's it's chaos in here, and it's gonna be chaos for probably a month. We've been going through everything on this boat, and then we gotta go through everything on our boat to try and figure out what's staying and what's going and what's staying on Cecilia. It's a, it's a lot, but we will get there. Pretty sure we'll get there. It doesn't feel like it right now. No, it doesn't. It's been a long day of work. It doesn't feel like we did that much. First night on the new boat. So we are making pizza. Kind of feels like I'm in an Airbnb. I don't really know where anything is. We knew that we had pizza crust in our boat and we're slowly making our way of transferring everything back and forth. So this will be easy enough. We've got propane on this boat, which is uh, 
huge. We still haven't gotten propane on. And so yeah, yeah, that's on the, the list. But now that we're over here and this boat has propane, it's kind of down the list. But uh, in the meantime, this is what I'm doing. It's pizza time. Uh, it's pizza. Put some plates out of the new cupboard. They're so cute. Oh, you got me? Yeah. Look at it again. It's hot. It's not that hot. Yes, it is. It's very yummy. Day two of cleaning this boat out. Mostly, it's going to involve a lot of this. And a lot of this. Oh! And a lot of, a lot of dishes. Whole lot of this. <laughs> Try to find something for the inverter, the charger inverter. Because I can't help but wonder if that's what was the problem with the generator. What's this you say? Our generator's not working? What? It's working. It charges the battery, but not very fast. So I thought I would look for a manual and see what I can figure out. Well, we're, we're, just, we're just going through hatches. And yeah. It's raining, so storage areas. I'm trying to find the inverter, and I'm failing. I, I can't. I can't believe I can't find the inverter. All the electrical mm -hmm. stuff seems to be over there and down behind that panel in the hallway, but I cannot find it. But uh, we found this. <sighs> I don't know if you can make that out, but that's uh, that's all water down in there, and it's none of that anywhere else, which is good. And it's above the water line, which is. Yeah, it's so it's, it's rain. A, it's not it's, like a leak in the boat. It's no, a leak no. coming into. The it's boat. either rainwater or it's wave water coming over the bow somewhere, coming yeah. in someplace. But like, it's where not, exactly? That's not what you want to find on your oh, new no. boat. There's no signs of any kind of like water ingress along the wall here. And I don't know. He had the cover off the top of that open. And a towel up there, and he had said that they were having some trouble with some of these hatches leaking when the waves were coming over the bow. Uh, it sounded like they had a pretty brutal sail. Could water have gotten through there somehow? I don't see signs of water up there either. But that cover is loose, it was off, and that towel was laying up there. And could that have made its way down into here somehow? Or, or what? I, I don't know. I don't have a clue. I guess we'll get the water out and see if the water comes back. Yeah. A stormy day today. So we're on this boat monitoring it, making sure it sits okay, and watching Cecilia from the cockpit and making sure she's okay. They both are dug in pretty good though. Another thing you don't want to find on your new boat. God, we knew these windows would be a problem to address. And they've got cracks and stuff in them, but we did not know that they literally leak like a freaking sieve as soon as it starts raining. I mean, it's just pouring in. If the other side is leaking, it's not really showing. Yeah. yeah. Hey, remember when I was like, oh look, it kind of looks like this is wet. Well, apparently. That's why. It is. It's just, it doesn't, this doesn't actually feel wet, it's just right here. It's all coming down to the corner of this and straight through it. Yeah. They look pretty horrible. It's a f***ed up mess is what it is. I mean, it's just been peeling tape off and it was like half falling off anyway. I don't know if I'm going to make it worse, but I feel like the tape had to be catching as much rainwater as it was deflecting it. But like, these seals are just apart like that. And that's where most of the water's coming in, I'm sure. 
right in that crack right there. And then this big crack in the window. I mean, you can see it. Yeah. I mean, it had a big old piece of tape across it, but I mean, it's a, it's a millimeter, two millimeter gap right there. Well, we're gonna have to get more tape and just redo it until we can actually well, get them done. Get some life seal caulk yeah. and hit all these big gaps where it looks like the seal has separated a little bit mm -hmm. and, and hopefully that will slow it down until we have a chance to like replace these. Mm -hmm. For now, I'm just gonna leave that one alone. Mm -hmm. Try to get some sealant in there before we rain on again. I'm sure there are other places, but that's got to be. Yeah. Mainly this one, I think. Yeah. But I'll hit, I'll hit all this with some life seal just to try to. I don't know what this is like. Carpet tape or something. What kind of tape I've ever seen that has that texture? And it's completely disintegrated from the UV, so it's like not doing anything. Yeah. There's another crack, maybe. Just gonna hit them all. Yep. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, one thing at a time. raining. Eric's trying to put a band-aid on a bullet hole. Day is done. And we're gonna see Gone the sun. From the sky. From the hills. From the plains. Okay. I'll leave it. I'll leave it at that. Thank you. It's rained all day. Except for right now. So I know. it's beautiful though. Enjoy it. Sorry for ruining it. <laughs> With a Boy Scout song. The boat is still a mess. No, that's really pretty. But at least the sunset was nice though. And we have a drink. We have a drink and we're just like standing up in the middle of our cabin watching the sunset. The novelty of having like a top floor where we just can see out is still fresh. But the boat is a mess. Oh, good God. Cheers, though. Cheers. It's just one mess after another, just sort of going, going through the boat, just trying to figure out what all is here and sort through it all, because all of our stuff has to come here. I'm throwing out a lot of things. All of this stuff has to leave. And then today was, all I did today was battle leaks. We had pots. One pot over here on the bench, like with three in the kitchen, three in the galley downstairs. There were just, there's leaks coming from different places and then they sort of run down into the edge and then they make their way one drip here. That's mainly from the crack and then the others seem to sort of drip down through and then into the ceiling panels and then they there's a couple spots where it just runs into a stream when it dried up and stopped raining for an hour or so but i cleaned all that stuff off scraped it just kind of got try to get it all the way back down to nothing and then i looked around for all the places where it looked like the actual seal had a crack or movement filled it with life seal and we've had rain since then but not as hard and it definitely did better but there was still water accumulating down here that, that is a big old crack in the glass right there and i had pulled all the tape off and it was getting ready to pour down rain again so i i streaked over to cecilia and found our duct tape and i got duct tape on it right before it started raining and i think that actually held so maybe we'll just duct tape all of it I mean, it can't be any worse, right? Right.
It's probably what was on there before and just disintegrated from the UV. So, you know, you get another five years out of it or something. Just duct tape all the, all the seams. What do you say we clean up this hell hole and then just kind of chill, go walk the dog, throw away a whole bunch of trash? I want to reiterate, too, that despite all the crazy shit that we're telling you that has happened already and the fires we've been scrambling to put out, so to speak. I don't know, I really like this boat. <laughs> I'm already feeling a bond a bond with it, a bit of a kinship with it. Yeah, it's got it's, it's got problems, but I don't know. I think we're both in the we're both excited enough about it because the space the space is so cool. It's so good. It's there's tons of it and there are a lot of good things on this boat. I don't know, man. She's got she's got personality. We'll get there. It'll be chaos for a couple weeks, and then hopefully it'll start to smooth out. All right. Rivers. What? We're almost ready to test the windlass. What? Are you so What's excited? The, windlass? the anchor windlass oh. that I've been working on for the last three hours. It pulls the anchor up and down. You said you wanted to be able to pull up the anchor so that we could take our boat and show it to your friends. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of necessary. So, we've kind of spent the last couple of days trying to fix things that weren't really supposed to not be working. I think there's some things that the previous owner was trying to fix in a hurry before bringing the boat down here, and then they had that rough, rough passage. And I think because of that, you know, to put it simply, some things just kind of got shook loose. This thing has a really new windlass on it. So he's got a switch back at the helm station and then a solenoid up front. So the switch at the helm station sends a signal to the solenoid to switch the windlass up or down. But it was up in one of the forward compartments up there and just kind of hanging loose. It wasn't mounted up. It was in like a little box. It was like soaking wet and I think he said he had to replace the solenoid because it got damaged for that reason. And then before turning the boat over to us, he moved it all inside in the crew cabin down under one of the compartments there, which is a pretty decent spot for it, but it doesn't work. <laughs> and he said when he left, it was working. So I don't know. I don't know if he didn't test it like right the very last second or if just something crazy happened and now it just doesn't work for us. But I've been troubleshooting this thing for a day and a half now. I, I narrowed it down. So here's what here's the space we're working. So this is sort of like our little fifth cabin hobbit hole that once we get our shit together is going to be sort of a multi-purpose room. It's going to be a playroom for rivers. It's got a huge, huge bed in there. The thing's a king. It's gigantic. And as you can see, it's chaos right now. And it needs some renovation pretty badly. But once we get it renovated and get all this stuff cleared out. Most of what this is is stuff we're giving away. Because we have all of our stuff and we have all of his stuff that he didn't really need or wasn't really able to take back with him. And you can just see like all these ceiling panels need probably just replacing. Some are missing. But this whole boat is covered with this type of ceiling panels and wall panels that I'm not going to say easily, but they can be simply <laughs> recovered. Uh, there's nothing crazy about the process. It, it'll just be tedious and, you know, a pain in the butt. But we can cover any of this stuff with any kind of material we want, including the walls. Now, that's part of the reason we like this boat, because it's all like soft-sided stuff, and we want a really quiet boat. For obvious reasons, but especially for me because I'm recording and it kind of helps isolate the sound from one room to the next. Because all these rooms are, are very cloth padded. Anyway, I digress. This is what I'm dealing with right now. So this is the bow of the boat. Anchor windlass is up there. And this is the solenoid. Now I have worked my way through all the pieces and parts and all the cabling. And I've been able to test it directly. The solenoid is fine, the windlass is fine, I can make them work by making direct connections. 
Um, the breaker's cool. And so I brought the switch in from outside and I hooked it up directly and it works. Uh, I had to make some special wires just to do that. So I put all new connections on this wire that runs back to the switch and there's all new wires, all new connections on the wires up there. I got a lot of stuff torn apart right now. Uh, and if this doesn't work, then it's got to be the wire. It's got to be this cable that runs all the way from the bow all the way back into that room. And so I would have to, I don't know, I guess replace the whole thing. It seems unlikely. Why would that suddenly just go bad? It's just a big fat white cable. So I'm hoping it was just corroded connectors, but we're about to find out. My mom's back. Oh, it's so windy. So crazy windy right now. You could like... And all this crazy wind is part of the reason why not having a working windlass is really concerning. In case we start dragging anchor or something, like we can't. There's nothing we can do to recover, to like pull it up or whatever. I'm about to test it. I, I, I ruled out the windlass itself. It's working, the solenoid is working, and the switch works. So it was either the connections or the actual wires bad. So I replaced all the switch connections and all the connections on the solenoid. And I'm literally now ready to push the button and see what it does. Okay, we're ready. Ready, ready, ready. No. Nothing. 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 No. Hey, question. Did you did you turn it on? Yeah, it's been on. Okay. It's That's all. But I'm just trying to think if there's positive bus bar, but maybe it's not getting the power for some reason. I know what happens. Hold right I'm there. I'm going to turn a bunch of switches on. Then I okay. Okay, I'm ready. Going down. Going down. Success work! We can get our anchor up now. Yay! We can leave if we need to. Yay, Zeke! Yay, Zeke! I probably didn't have to do any of what I did. Although it needed done, all those connections were really corroded and nasty, so. Oh yeah, projector cockpit. Project tour. That, cockpit. Obviously. obviously. I literally turned on, I didn't turn off the deck lights, but I literally turned on everything that was just like, whatever. All this, I turned all these switches on, and then I turned them all off, and I got to that one. I'm like, seriously? Project tour cockpit. And that provides power to a bus bar that all those weird switches are hooked to. Whatever that is. I don't know what it is. I had noticed it was lit up when we first came over to the boat and I could not figure out what it was or why it was lit up. And then, you know, we've been messing with the switch panel and trying to figure out how things work and what's on what. You know, so things that didn't seem to go to anything were I just kind of stayed off. Projector cockpit has not been back on since then. And I still don't know what that thing out there is for, but on the back side, there's a big bus bar with all the positive wires, all the negative wires, and then a bunch of other stuff kind of scrambled in there. And I can't tell what any of it is or where it goes or why it's there. We got nice new connections on all of our anchor windless switches now. Project number a million. Uh, we gotta stop counting. Yeah. Now don't fall through. Yeah. So that over there is an old trampoline. And this is a new trampoline. We have two new trampolines. En route to St. Martin, uh, one of the trampolines, the old ones blew out when a wave hit it. So while they're in St. Martin, he went ahead and got them remade. 
he put one in uh, to replace the one that was blown out, but it wasn't completely strapped all the way in. They're not symmetrical. This is actually the one that goes over there. I'm almost, I'm almost 100% positive. We'll find out when we attach this one. So it didn't fit quite right. It's time for a rain break. Rainbow going on. Oh yeah. Full rainbow. Oh, rainbow yeah. for our trampolines. I don't think it's gonna last very long, but that's good. We're gonna keep going. So anyway, we bought some new polyester line, which is really common for oh, trampolines. Because we, we wanted to have some stretch. Uh, we, we want him to be able to bounce a little bit and we don't want it to be so tight that these grommets are taking all the weight. So we're going to lace it up a little more traditionally with a more traditional uh, tensioning line. See how it goes. See what it looks like. Spider-Man! That fits way better, too, I can tell already. So we got it pretty much in, more or less lined up in its spot. And so we're going to do three sections instead of one continuous just in case you know we should ever lose a line for some reason so it'll be that section right there that lauren's doing and then we'll do a section to here and a section to here and just, i think that'll it's like a tr yeah, it'll make it pretty easy to tension it too Side's done. Now we just got to do All right, well, two more. Good morning, y'all. Well, last night, as you saw, we got a lot of progress done on the trampolines. Uh, well, one trampoline, I should say. Nice and sturdy. Nice little bit of bounce to it, but not too much. But there's there's bad news to go along with the good news. The good news is, the thing looks great feels great it was pretty easy to get tight but I discovered some bad news there is a top and bottom to these trampolines and the only reason there is is the stupid grommets right now you are looking at the back side of a grommet that is the side where the two pieces get squeezed together top side being completely smooth Functionally, is that a problem? Probably not. But, you know, you could conceivably say that rainwater could start to seep down in the grommets a little easier this way. I don't know if that's really true. It just did not jump out at me until I was looking at the other one this morning that we had not yet installed. And I just shook my head. Because, yeah, it probably doesn't matter at all but it is going to drive me nuts every time I look at it because I know I'm looking at the bottom side of a grommet. <laughs> the other good news though look it wasn't that hard this is the first time I'd done one of these and it's not it's not rocket science with this with this kind of material especially you're not really stretching the trampoline material that much it's pretty fixed so on these, tensioning was really not that bad. I, I went through with gloves and did the whole thing all the way around. Maybe twice, not even, yeah, probably two whole times. I'm sure we'll bounce around on it and it'll loosen up and I'll retension it, but I mean, it's done. Except now it's not, because I'm gonna take it off. But it's morning, I bet you I can have these both done by lunch because we did this one last night. Now I know what I'm doing. The lines are already the right length. I think it'll be fine. All right. I guess I better get to unlacing. Second verse, same as the first. Something like that. All right. I got this one restrung. The grommets are right side up. I know that was really bugging you. It feels different. 
It feels different? Do it feel tighter? Kind of. Cool. Well, that's got some spring to it. Alright, now I just gotta do the other one. Yeah. Gaping hole. Yeah.